What's up, my dudes? Come on in. All right, so in this video, I just wanted to do a quick shop tour. I've had a bunch of comments of people saying they wanted to see what my shop is like and what an average day here is at Patrick Adair Designs. So I just thought I'd lead you through it. So this is my lathe. This is where I spend the majority of my day. This is where most of the rings, this is where the bulk of all the work is done on rings. And so right here I'm working on a Damascus steel ring. And then I'm going to inlay this Alexandrite into it. That's a custom order I had a guy email me about. So that should be pretty cool. I'm not filming this one, but um, I've got a similar video like it coming out soon. So if you want to see that, let me know. And then over here is just kind of like our general supplies, shelves, tools, everything like that. Here is the meteorite ring blanks. That's where we keep them. So if you went and ordered a meteorite ring, we'd get your order. We would come and pick the meteorite blank that best suited your ring and then obviously punch out the center so it looks like this and then get to work on it. Here are all of our glow powders, color pigments, everything like that for our glowstone rings. Um, and then just basic general supplies. Got all of our hand tools, tape, glue, electrical stuff. Devices over here and then just paint bunch of random things. We have a bunch of materials down here. So carbon fiber, these are some glow resin pieces. Um, this actually is the piece of carbon fiber from the water jet channels YouTube play button. So if you want to go check out their video on that, that's just kind of fun fact for you there. We might make a ring or two out of that if we can get it out of the material. They just gave it to us because basically just scrap. And then over here, this is kind of the basic project table. This is going to be our next YouTube video. And so look forward to that. It's kind of, I know, it's gonna be a little bit of a different project for the channel, but I think you guys will really like it. It's gonna be pretty cool. And then here is the mill. We just got this a couple weeks ago. And so we haven't actually used it in any of the videos yet. Um, but as I get this figured out, start getting used to it, figure out how to make actually good rings with it, we will start integrating it into the videos if you guys like it. And then over here, this is Britton. He is just working on a glowstone ring right now. He is a master at the lake. He's a legend. So he handles a lot of the glowstone ring orders as well as he's really good with the meteorite and so we have him do the meteorite and then he's been doing a lot of the superconductor rings recently as well. And then over here this is just kind of another general workstation. We're trying to set this light up here right now so that's why that's here. We might get another lathe soon and that would go in this space and then right now Underneath here is our acid workstation. This isn't a super permanent setup. But you can see we've got two meteorite rings in there getting etched. And then there's the other acids there. We use muriatic acid on our meteorite rings and then ferric chloride on our superconductor rings. Here is this meteorite ring. It's about done, so I will put a protective coating on that and a few other processes and we'll get that shipped probably within the next 24 hours. Here's the rock tumbler. We use that to put a stone wash finish on things when we need to. I don't have it on right now because it's pretty loud. And then here is just kind of the sanding and polishing station. Here's the buffing wheel. Do all the polishing here and then do a bunch of sanding on here. Here is our metal bandsaw. So this is a piece of Damascus steel that I used that yesterday to cut out the stock for the Damascus steel ring I've got on the lathe right now. And then here, this is just kind of a car. I used to use this when it was just me working. I used to just drag this with me everywhere I went and had 
bunch more supplies. Now with multiple people working, it's kind of just a cart to, I don't know, it's just kind of space. We don't really wheel it around anymore, but we just have all our late bits, Dremel tools, a bunch of just random supplies in there, blowtorch, stuff like that. And then underneath this table here, these are the tools that we don't use all the time, but that we need to access from time to time. So just to save space, I store them underneath the table and pull them out as they're needed. Then over here is kind of like the office space of the garage. Here is Andrew. He is the guy in charge of almost everything you see behind the rings, or behind the scenes, not behind the rings. Um, he will be in the next YouTube video we come out that I was talking about with the tubing. So you'll get to know him there. Here is Gizmo, he is the shop mascot, and he's also the employee of the month. So uh, you can go on the website and check the current employee of the month, but it's always Gizmo, so that's just kind of for you to look at. He's just chilling. Um, here is where we do a lot of the emails, replying to emails, as well as any of the shipping. So if we finish a ring, here is a glowstone ring we have. Once we finish it, we just grab a tin, stick it in here, seal it up. Then we grab an envelope out of the cabinet, stick it in there, print off a label from the printer, put it on there, take it to the post office. So that is kind of what the life of a ring here at Patrick at Dare Designs goes like. So yeah, that is pretty much everything down here. I will take you guys upstairs. Maybe I'll show you. Here's like liquids. So we've got mineral oil, WD-40, hydrogen peroxide. We use that with the acid. Use alcohol a lot because it makes less rust than water does. So we use that to cool things down or whatever. And yeah, now we'll head upstairs. Show you what's up there. This is Lewis. Hey, you too. He is the uh, resident jack of all trades. <laughs> And the guy who dresses like he has never seen, I, I'm not going to make a comment on that actually. He, uh, yeah, that, I think he looks just nice. It's so rude. I'm also the op, er, words are hard. I'm also the director of operations. Fun fact. Yeah, that's his, yeah, official that's terms. That's my official term. Got a nice little spreadsheet here. Yeah, Lewis keeps track of all the orders. He makes sure we're getting them done, getting them done on time. Nothing slips through the cracks, things like that. We get the rings, we order all the supplies we need, we mark it on the spreadsheet, assign who's gonna make it, all of that. And that's all done with Lewis here. So he does a lot of work behind the scenes here. All the computers, the reason I got so many is for Ethereum mining. So if you're wondering why there's just four computers all over, that's why. Um, here is just, I don't know, this is where we spend a lot of time hanging out. Andrew replies to a lot of emails here throughout the day if he's not downstairs. Um, we got the company fridge over here. We got water and cream puffs up there because those are two very important things to keep a company afloat. We got the Red Bull cooler. Not too much else to show you. Kitchen's back there, all that. This is my room. Here is where I spend any of the time like editing a YouTube video or whatever. This is where I spend a lot of my downtime when I'm not working at the lathe. If I'm replying to emails or doing any of the work like that. This is my computer. I had a few people ask me about it in my IKEA hack video. So I'll just give you a rundown of it. It's got a GTX 1080 Ti in there. That's what I use for gaming. 
and then I have an AMD R9 390, I think, I can't even remember, but that's just in there to mine Ethereum, so that's why it's kind of a janky looking setup. But yeah, I've just got all the stuff set up here. We've got the ever important Red Bull, that's what keeps us going. Um, just all my garbage thrown up on the shelf. And yeah, that's pretty much everything there is to see here. That's how we operate, that's how we make our rings, all of that. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, if you liked this style of video, let me know because we kind of are interested in getting into a little more personalized content. So just let me know if you want to see something else like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks.